Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. It is time, finally, Happy New Year by the way. Uh, today I am going through my 2021 setup. I have been tweaking this a little bit over the past week or so since my um, January plan with me and so I'm really excited. It's feeling fresh and different and I didn't do that much to change it. So if you're familiar with my setup, you might notice a lot of things are the same, but I've moved things around. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is I stuck a couple little bows on here, so it's kind of looking cute too. This is the Moterm A7, um, and the, I don't know, it's called gray and orange or whatever. <laughs> um, it's fun, it's cute, I like the pocket configuration, and so it's working really well for me. Uh, the back pocket hasn't really changed, it's got like a, an appointment reminder, some stickers, a spare check, some notes on things. Um, and then in the front, I just have uh, like a card with some washi tape on it. I use that to cut washi tape as well. I don't think there's anything currently. Oh no, there is. There is stuff in here. I don't know what these are doing in there. But I've got a couple of coins and a couple of like punch cards in there. Um, and then the back pocket is my wallet setup. So I'm not going to like go through everything that's in there, but this is where all my cards are. And because the fly leaf sets that up. Um, there's like a gap here where all the cards you know, thickness is that does limit the amount I can keep in my planner, but that also forces me to like really be minimalist about what is included. And that also gives me just a little bit of space here to include a friction pen on the ring. And I usually don't have to move this around uh, cause I'm trying to keep things minimal on the ring so that it still will turn. Um, but it's nice to have this with me having two pens. Um, so I can do some sort of you know, tentative planning and stuff that might want to get changed. Um, the friction is always great for that. So let's begin with the flip through. Uh, these plastic tabs and fly, this flyleaf here are from Marlene's plan to create on Etsy. And I don't know if her shop has reopened or what happened to it, but I, last time I checked, it wasn't there anyway. Um, and then I got some new, um, vellum, no acetates from Peanuts Planner Co. She just released a bunch of new acetates for um, Black Friday, I think, or at least they were around that time, and I got them in the Black Friday sale. So you'll see a couple of those come up. Um, this is my monthly. I went ahead and just tossed a little bit of lettering on the front, which is, I'm feeling very gutsy, <laughs> but I think I'm getting better at it a little bit because I've been doing some brush lettering on my Instagram, so follow me over there. There's a link below in the description. Um, I've been doing, yeah, more brush lettering over there. Then this is insert number 14 from my shop, ganchiplans.com slash shop. Um, and so it's the dated monthly, it has uh, the week separated out here. So there's not actually a lot going on. I guess it's event specific. I have marked off the weeks that we're working from home. And then um, if that you know continues, I'll, I'll put more arrows, but this is how far it's scheduled. They may have us go back into the office here. And then these are weekly to-do lists. So I still have, I think this is what I'm doing today. And then I have a bunch of stuff next week because I put a bunch of my like miscellaneous tasks that need to be done every month or so in the middle of the month. And then this is the space for any other tasks. And so far there's only one that doesn't need to get done in a specific time, but just sometime this month. A brand new one thing, one year tracker. This is from my summer touch. Um, this is for my one line a day journal and so far so good. I've used it all last year and I'm working on year two of 10. So it's going to be pretty cool once it's all finished. This is a new insert from my shop as well. This is number 005, level 10 life. So this uh, was an idea that was popular at least back in 2013 when I got into bullet journaling uh, from Boho Berry, who hasn't been making videos in a while. I know that she is the one who brought it to my attention, but it's from the Miracle Morning book. Um, but the idea here is you can pick any 10 categories in your life and then rate them on a scale from one to 10 and then set up some goals to improve some of those. So it was really a good uh, process for me when I set this up, picked out the nice rainbow colors, and then I sort of figured out what areas I wanted to really focus on and what uh, areas I really wanted to focus on like improving. And so I set a couple of goals and I color coded them too, because um, I, I like the rainbow, it looks nice. And these are um, my, mild liner brush pens also. 
So I did this and then over here on the monthly resolutions page, which is insert 11, um, it's actually also color coded to this. I picked one of them to be like my main monthly resolution for the year. So instead of setting a yearly like New Year's resolution, I prefer to do something that's just for a month. That way if it fails, it's only for a month. If it succeeds, that's great. You can move on and build on it. But um, it's not as hard, it's not as big of a commitment, so it doesn't seem like I have to take as much effort to decide what it's going to be. So anyway, this month I decided it's been getting crazy with, you know, having me stuck at home. I mean, stuck at home, but, you know, I've been on maternity leave since August, and so our daughter hasn't been in childcare, so she has just been here all the time, and there's a lot of things like I wanted to declutter her toys, but if I try to do that while she's around, she will stop me. So fortunately, like this week, that was what I got done because I'm still working from home. So that's what I've been doing on my lunch break. Anyway, that's decluttering is my goal for this month, at least one space per week. So it's something concrete. And then by the end of the month, I'll put a couple notes here about how that went and then pick a new goal for the next month. My waiting on section is in the front here. Uh, the idea is this front section is supposed to be like projects and anything with an actionable to do. Um, I redid my waiting on list because it was looking messy and um, I have just a few more of these little pandas that are in this washi sample that I got from Night Owl Washi who has a different shop name now and I don't remember but something about this little panda really reminded me of that Narcos meme. Um, anyway, <laughs> the, then I took, um, I had these three top project dividers and this was like in a one of these sections back here, but I moved it up front because like I said, I wanted all of my projects with to-do lists in the front. So this first tab, this is another Peanuts Planner co tape. First tab is that project for the month, that goal for the month. So it's just a list of things that I'd like to go through and declutter. Um, the second tab here is my craft projects, which I don't know, I'd like to try to finally get back to work on some of these that I've just been putting off. Um, aggressively <laughs> and then the third one actually got moved we'll get there in a minute um, that was a last-minute change just this week so tab one as always is my weeklies these are my babies that was our Christmas Eve photo so this is insert 002 the split weekly and I'm gonna be doing a weekly plan with me with this insert next week so you'll be able to see what that looks like um, or like as I set it up uh, but I've got basically this, this whole week set up. It's a little bit minimalist because I'm also using dailies. So I set up the weeks and I have the weeks printed out for this month. I just print them out one month at a time. And then I stuck the last top tab over here because I've got my today marker and then I've got a top tab for the weeklies. And so, or sorry, for the dailies. Uh, again, did I already say this is more Peanuts Planet Co. Acetate. These are from my shop as well. This is insert 019 and I've been liking it. I'm starting to think of some ideas for I want to release a new daily maybe this month or next month. I'm thinking of new ideas but um, yeah I like having the the top goals here. That's what I'm working on right now. Sections here I've been using for different things so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you like it. If you like it it's available. And so I have several of those printed out and just sitting in here because sometimes, especially when I'm working from home, I like having a daily. Then the next tab here, this is, has been in there for a while, this flyleaf, whatever you call it. Uh, this is a new library book list. I'm not getting the best use out of it because I am, our library doesn't uh, enforce its due dates right now. But this is insert 016 and the idea for this one is you put the name of your book and then you put the date it was checked out, the date it's due, and then the days that it's been renewed to, and then you check it off when it's been returned, which I am going to be making a library run um, in the next day or two as soon as the last book I requested is in. They probably think I'm crazy because I requested two copies of the same book, one for me and my husband. My to watch list and then the back is with my husband. Uh, we haven't, we've been playing games lately instead of watching TV. Uh, I redid my gift ideas and wish list. And then this guy here um, is insert oh, 018, my breast milk pumping log, because I'm anal about keeping track of my stash. 
So for the first week here, um, my husband was still home and it was a four day week. Things were going great. I went from 70 ounces to 76 ounces. And then this week she's been over at the babysitter and uh, it's for two days and I've netted negative in the last couple of days. This is a particular low point. But anyway, the point is that you keep track of all of the incoming and then all of the outgoing and then you do the math at the end of your day or whatever. This can be used for anything, I'm sure. If you have any sort of um, inventory tracking needs, I think that this might work. That's just saying. So that's why I didn't put, you know, breast milk at the top of the page because if you're not a lactating mother, you don't need that kind of, you know, in your face. And that's where this first little bow is. It's white because that is the color of milk. And it's a little dirty because off-white is the color of milk. I haven't used these since I was in a traveler's notebook, I don't think. So that's just a bookmark. Um, and it looks cute, I think. Second tab here is for, I've got my inbox, uh, which is just if I need somewhere to write something down quickly. And I almost never do. I should use it more often. Um, but I need somewhere to put just this sheet of paper. And then we've got here some miscellaneous like projects or reference, I guess. Maybe this is the projects one. But this is just a log of like what's in my garden in case I forget. Um, and then this is the someday maybe list and honeydew list. I put them back here because they're not referenced as often. It's sort of more of an archive of projects. This next tab is for Ganchi stuff. So I've got the same little sticker here, which I love. Um, this is from my summer touch, this fold out, um, yearly fold out, which I really love because there's a similar one that's in the undated Peanuts Planner Co. yearly bundle, which I have, but it doesn't have the weekends marked and I just find that that makes it much easier. So I, I picked this up. Um, and then the rest of this section, I'm not really going to show you. It's got stuff that I uh, like to keep a little bit private, but plans for new inserts to release and things like that, new videos, uh, video ideas always looking for new video ideas if you want to drop some in comments. And then this last section is my future log. I have a couple of spare sticky notes if I need them for my um, little sticky note indexes at the front of these sections. And then also this one is, I love these because they actually fit with the rings. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Still, I, I love it. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. And then this is the end afterwards, same as last year birthdays and anniversaries, and then my recurring tasks, which I showed you, I think, in my um, January plan with me. But the idea is you have the task and then how often you do it the last time, the next time. And then, for example, here, I change my daughter's toothbrush every month because her toothbrushes are super cheap. Um, I get like a five pack for a dollar. So I figure may as well, she chews them up. So I might as well just replace it every month for sanitary reasons. So the last time I did it was December 1st, next time January 1st. So then I did it January 1st, like I put it on the thing, I came back, I did it. So I marked it um, as like moved to the next section and here we go every month. I last time did it on January 1st, so the next I will do it on February 1st. And when I come to set it up for February, I'll see that it's there, if that makes sense. This is insert number 17. The very last tab is just another Peanuts Planner Co. Acetate. And generally I'll keep a few pieces of spare note paper and stuff in here. There's currently only one, so I need to restock. Um, but I'll just keep, you know, some grid paper and some line paper in the back. And that is everything. That is the whole setup for 2021. Um, a little bit, a little bit refreshed, but mostly the same. Don't break what's working. My systems are the same, but just things have been moved around a little bit. And that does keep it fresh. I like fresh redone lists sometimes where you just get rid of everything that's already checked off. Just make a brand new list. It looks shorter. So it's more achieve achievable and it also just like doesn't distract you with all the clutter. So that is the beauty of January. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know down below. Did you switch things up for January? Are you in like a new size or something like that? Or are you just basically refreshing a couple of pages like I do? Um, and then I will see you in the next video on Sunday. So don't forget to subscribe. Hey!